Hey there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. I had a question some time ago um, that I remembered recently. Uh, I can't remember who the, the guy uh, who asked me the question was. It was here on YouTube. I think his username was something like Big Tits R 77 some, something along those lines. And uh, he mentioned about Malcolm Gladwell's theory of uh, the 10 hours, 10,000 hours practice rule. In other words, 10,000 hours of practice is what you need to be an expert, something along those lines. Haven't read the book, Outlier, but um, I have to say I'm not particularly interested in it. Um, but uh, the guy asked me how many hours of guitar practice I've put in. So I thought it'd be really interesting to sit down and work out exactly how many hours of practice I've put in. Obviously, that is impossible because there are so many different variables within that. Um, i.e. days when you don't practice and days when you practice for, if you like me, 10 hours plus. Uh, I don't do that anymore, I haven't do that, done that for a long time, uh, but back in the day I used to practice all day. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so we, we can kind of get a rough idea of how many hours of practice I've done. So yeah, according to Malcolm Gladwell, you need at least 10,000 hours of practice to become an expert at something. So, I've been playing guitar since February 1991. So that is 26 years ago. Uh, well, in actual fact, it's 26 years and five months ago. Um, in terms of months, that's a total of 317 months. In terms of weeks, that's a total of 1,377 weeks. Well, just a little over. Uh, and in terms of days, it's 9,640 days in total. Um, so that's a lot of time to, uh, to put into practicing the guitar, it's an awful lot of time. So uh, if you've done the same, um, I think you really, really should be good after <laughs> that amount of practice. Um, anyway, like I say before, it's impossible to work out exactly how many hours I've done. Uh, I remember back when I used to play, um, round about, it must have been between 92 and 95, uh, maybe 90, 93 and 95. I remember doing at least 10 hours a day back then. Now I was lucky, lucky enough to be in a position where I was able to do that. And, uh, you know, if you work that out, 365 days in a year, 10 out of, you know, uh, times that by 10 for, the, for 10 hours in a day, that's 3,650 hours of practice just in one year and I remember distinctly doing that for you know a few years so that's one third of the 10 hours over one third of the 10,000 hours practice rule you know let's say you did that uh, for three years that's times 30 that's 10,950 so over three years that's way more than 10,000 hours anyway I'm digressing all these numbers are driving me crazy uh, but let's say on average well let's start with one hour per day uh, for the time length of time that I've been practicing. That would make 9,640 hours. So I know I've done way, way, way more than that over the years, but that's just an average of one hour per day. If I did two hours per day, it'd be 19,280 hours. Okay, so we're getting a little bit closer. If it were three hours every single day, it'd be 28,920 hours. So that's pretty, pretty close to 30,000 hours. That kind of works out. On average, that's probably about right, somewhere along those lines. But then again, I don't know. I'm left there scratching my head because I think, how many hours have I actually put in? Because, you know, I used to be crazy with my practice. You know, these days I don't practice as much. As, although, over the past couple of months, I've been practicing a lot. Um, but let's say it's five hours. That would equal 48,200 hours of practice. So, what do we take away from this? I don't know. I've done a hell of a lot of practice over the years. That's the main thing. But ultimately, you know, the, the message in this whole video is the amount of hours is irrelevant. It's quality over quantity, of course. That's what she said. Um, but it's really, really is true. It's about how focused you are during your practice time, how passionate you are about what it is that you do, um, how devoted you are and also how intelligent you are as well in terms of your approach to practice because you know everybody knows the term practice makes perfect but I don't think it's necessarily true you know perfect practice makes perfect 
and let's face it, perfect doesn't exist, is it? It makes it close to perfect. So anyway, I'm rambling on. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was interesting putting together all of the um, um, the figures, you know, to, to just to see how much work I've put in over the years, you know. But uh, uh, I'm just going to keep going because, to be honest, I really don't care how many hours I've put in. I just love playing the guitar and I love practicing. So I'm going to go do some more. Take care.